Scarborough Sanitary District. Today is September 27th, and we'll do the roll call. Charles Anderson, the chairman, is absent. Uh, Jason Greenleaf. Here. Ben Viola is absent. Aubrey Strauss. Present. Joe Carroll will arrive shortly. And Judith Cavallaro. Present. Thank you. Um, so, minutes. Has everyone had a chance to read the minutes? Mm -hmm. Any uh, motion on them? Motion we approve is written. Second. So moved. Ms. Cavallaro. Any omissions, <coughs> additions, or corrections? Barring none, all in favor? One abstention. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Greenleaf has one. No, I just had one abstention. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> one abstention. One okay. abstention. I was not present last month for the meeting. So. No worries. All right, now all in favor. Three, four, none against, one abstention. Three. Three. Yeah, okay. Three, four, the motion. One abstention and none against the motion. <clears throat> Sorry, didn't mean to be <clears throat> misleading. So here we go. Superintendent's report. A copy of the monthly report for operations for the month of August uh, is included in your packet. Our average flow for the month was 1.26 million gallons per day. Our FM quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 95% BOD removal and 97% TSS removal with monthly concentrations of 13 and 11 milligrams per liter, respectively. Copy of pump station flows is also included in your packet. We had some erroneous flows at pump stations 1, 14, and 22. The cause of the erroneous flows at 1 and 14 are not known. Wooden Curran was working on the program at pump station 22 that caused those errors. Uh, we continue the search process for a collection system labor operator. We're currently evaluating uh, several uh, good candidates that, um, and hopefully we'll be making an offer shortly. Uh, Wooden and Curran has completed uh, their evaluation of pump station one. They were hired to do a preliminary engineering uh, report, and I'm currently reviewing that and will be rec um, making recommendations on that in the near term. Uh, Route 114, there, uh, there's been some culvert, there's ongoing culvert work on Route 114, and the town has discovered that there is a conflict between our force main and their, um, their new culverts. Uh, so consequently, the district is required to relocate our force main. This work was not anticipated nor budgeted. Um, it is anticipated that Char Brothers will be completing this uh, work this coming weekend. There's been a lot of planning involved in, um, in uh, expediting this work. Uh, we have uh, five of our staff that will be here that night. Uh, starting at 9 o'clock, we'll be shutting down the pump station at Nonsuch River and uh, begin the draining of the force main and, uh, that, and also um, hauling around uh, to the Hygis Parkway any flows that are there. We'll have two staff at Hygis Parkway to receive the septage haulers. We'll have two staff at Nunsuch River to um, get the trucks loaded. Uh, I will have an inspector right at the construction and uh, also myself will be there that night. It, it's gonna be an all night venture Saturday night. Saturday. We pick Saturday. Uh, well, they pick Saturday for traffic reasons uh, and we picked the night before the low flow sewer reasons. Um, so there's been a lot of coordination involved in this work and hopefully with the planning that we have done, um, it'll, it'll go smoothly. It will be expensive. Uh, and again, it's something that we have not budgeted, but that we have to do it. Was it just a, a miscalculation and elevation? I mean, the force main's not hidden exactly, right? No, it was, um, yeah, the, the, the force main was not shown correctly on the plans, uh, elevation-wise. Mm. Um, and then there was, uh, the, the, there's one of the uh, culvert crossings, there's actually uh, three culverts. Yeah, so. 
and two of them are at one elevation and a third is at a lower elevation. In the cross section, they only showed the two that are at the higher elevation. So um, I think the plans could have been better, but there was some oversight in those. I don't, I don't know the issues there. If I knew these conflicts were there a year ago when I first reviewed the plans, I probably would have at the time recommended boring a new force main from culvert to culvert and mm. just be out of the way early. Are they going to be cost sharing at all? We are required to do our own yes. sewer work. Under which line item would you put this budget item? Under contractual services? Or? I haven't been thinking about that just yet. Okay. I've been more involved in depth in the planning and coordination to make sure it goes smoothly. Because not only do we need to move our infrastructure, the water department needs to move theirs, mm -hmm. and Shaw Brothers needs to get the um, culverts across the road. So it's, you know, uh, and actually the gas company has a a new main there. Brand, brand a new main, but that was moved, they moved that in preparation of this because they knew they were in conflict. Oh. So. Question, Mr. Mm -hmm. Chairman? Uh, how many feet are we looking at of replacing? Uh, and we're and looking in what at, area? pardon? And in what area? Right across from the, uh, the, the smaller pump station there, I can't, I can't remember the name of it, uh, the one that services Hereford. Um, Road. Uh, yeah, it's on Gorham Road. There's a small pump station down right by the church. the church. Yeah, right yeah. across from the church. You can see the culverts already there. That's yeah. the culvert there that we have to uh, dip down and get underneath. We're replacing probably, it's, it's uh, questionable. We won't know until we get there, but my guess is going to be about 50 feet of pipe. Mm. 50 feet, okay. Because we had some, some pipe failures and leaks. Uh, in the area towards towards Maple Ave, the other the side of Maple, yeah. And this isn't Aslan, the, that yeah. affected area at all. No, uh, this is further on down. We actually have already dug up the force main and put a tap in it, um, such that we could drain it because mm -hmm. it, that's a section of the force main that's low. Um, and so we, we actually put a live tap into it and have uh, already installed a uh, quick connect such that once we drain back as much as we can, uh, we will be uh, moving the trucks down to the, to the low point and sucking directly out of the force main. Uh, it will be about 10 trucks in order to wow. get enough um, you know, uh, sewage out of the force main before they can actually perform the work. And is this the same vicinity where there's conflicts with the water district as well? We, have, we don't have conflicts with the water. Yeah, the, 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 yes, yeah, the water district has a conflict at the same culvert. They'll be doing that work in the morning, Saturday morning. Okay. Um, Nothing we can coordinate on as far as excavation or anything? No they'll, no, they'll be doing that work Saturday morning, and then they'll be doing our work Saturday night. So the Shaw Brothers is, I believe, going to have three crews there. Okay. What kind of pipe are we replacing? It's a uh, ductile iron pipe. And right we're replacing it in kind, yes? Yeah. Because yeah. as I recall, years ago, this was the one that was susceptible to quote-unquote hot soils, and it kept yeah. breaking. There was fur further on down, um, uh, more towards the river. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, oh, you admit, and I was, I was talking about the tap. Uh, when we did the live tap, the pipe appeared to be very sound. Good to know. Uh, <coughs> any more questions on the superintendent's report? I did have one more thing. Yes. We had an insurance audit today. Uh, although it was on my calendar, I was forgotten about it, um, preoccupied, and uh, when he showed up, uh, I was surprised, but it uh, went very well. He I was from Clay Felter. Uh, I, um, the only comment that he had was, you know, as you walk around, as, as you can so imagine, some of the fire doors get propped open. And the staff working, and they prop a door open. And um, so his recommendation was to uh, look at those magnetic door holders. That, and uh, so we're going to be looking into those for you know, maybe considering them for budget next yeah. year. That's a good idea. Yep.
Any questions about the insurance audit? Okie dokie. Correspondence? There is none. None. Old business. Uh, we continue to wait for the uh, controls for uh, the Pine Point Odor, <coughs> the Eco 2 system. And in addition, Maine Oxy has changed their recommendation to a bulk tank versus bottles, which now we've got to make some site modifications. So uh, we're, we're plugging away at this. Unfortunately, it's going slowly. But one of the things um, I do, we continue with the monitoring of the hydrogen sulfide in the pipe, Pine Point area. These results, I, I, I continue to present below. Uh, this past month, we added one more potassium permanganate addition point on Primrose, just upstream from Pine Point. Um, and uh, in summary, I just wanted to point out what we've done in this area, and it seems to be been very effective. You know, uh, first, mainly seafood ventures installed their screen settling tank and ozone system. Uh, we've, we're now doing bi-weekly addition of, hyd of uh, sodium hydroxide, pump station one. Uh, we got potassium permang permanganate addition at three locations, at the fourth main terminus, um, upstream from Primrose, and then also on Primrose. We have the ozone, the wet well um, odor control system, pump station two. We have o caustic addition at pump station two, and then obviously the continued sulfide monitoring. Um, so I had an impromptu discussion with one of the residents that happened to, uh, that lives on the corner of Primrose and Pine Point, so basically diagonally across from, from uh, Pump Station 2, which is a pump station on Eastern Trail for the viewers. And uh, he, you know, I, I asked him how it was going, how we were doing, and, uh, you know, he said, well, overall, if, if Last year was a 10, and with 10 being on a bad scale, on a 1 to 10 scale. Uh, he said this year is in a 2 to 3 range. Um, and he was very pleased with it. He says it's just been a, a, a rare uh, time that he has smelled the odor, and then it would dissipate. It never interfered with any of his outside activities or opening windows, so he was, he was very pleased. Um, he was pleased that we're still moving forward with other activities. Um, so, um, you yeah, know, he was very happy with the results. I also, uh, I was at a, a conference this past week and somebody that I know who's an engineer uh, at, a, at one of the firms in the area actually lives in the Pine Point area. He also came up to me and um, told me that the odor issues that down in the Pine Point area have, it's, he said it's remarkable how, how much it, improve so um, so things are looking you know um, seem to be doing well despite we're still with the um, uh, the delays on the eco 2 system but that's only going to improve things even more cool. any questions for the superintendent yes Ms. Stokes. so before we go on to new business I had an old business question <laughs> last month we talked about the public safety building and there were two items that we had asked Dave to follow up on. Uh, one was the oil water separator and whether the vehicle wash bay was going to be going through that. And the second was whether the grease interceptor, we couldn't tell if it was the internal or external that had been removed because the letter just said grease interceptor removed, mm -hmm. yet it's a quite large kitchen. So I'm wondering if you had any update on those? Or I, I've had developed? conversations <coughs> with um, um, Angela and chat mm -hmm. about, about it, and uh, both of those items are, are what we had uh, considered, but uh, they're going to provide me with that documentation. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Okay. We'll move on to new business. Uh, Scarborough Downs, phase one, north um, on Scarborough Downs Road. On behalf of Crosshold Holdings, uh, Goral Palmer, who is in the audience here, has requested that the Scarborough excuse me, Sanitary District Board of Trustees approve uh, approval of the proposed Scarborough Downs Phase 1 North, located off Scarborough Downs Road. Um, yeah, uh, the proposed development is as follows. Four multifamily apartment buildings for a total of 48 units. 30 single-family homes, 
publicly owned roads and right of ways. Uh, the requested flow is for 15,625 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste. The proposed sanitary sewer system includes both public and private infrastructure. The public system includes 1,349 feet of 8 inch gravity sewer, 10 manholes, 695 feet of 2 inch force main, and a private, uh, system, the private system includes 383, 383 feet of 8 inch gravity sewer and 4 manholes. This uh, project will discharge into an existing sewer on technology way. <coughs> All the proposed infrastructure within the public right of way uh, shall become the district property. Um, so I recommend approval with the following conditions. The approved flow is for typical sanitary waste from the 78 residential dwelling units with the associated infiltration for a total flow of 15,625 gallons per day. Any flows in excess of the approved amounts and characteristics are subject to additional approvals. This project is fully subject to the capacity reserve fee. The uh, current capacity reserve fee is 16,024 gallons per day and is adjusted monthly based on the ENR instruction cost index. Based on this rate, the total capacity reserve fee due is $253,750. Any additional homes, departments, dwelling units, accessory units, or flow in excess of this shall be subject to additional approvals and fees. Um, let's see, I have quarterly composite samples uh, written in here, but this is all residential, so this would not actually apply. So I'm going to take that out of my written recommendations. Uh, final plan shall be submitted to the superintendent for approval prior to the issuance of the permits. Uh, sewer permit um, is required for each sewer service, and a complete application associated fee shall be sent to the district at the time the permit is executed. And then finally, record plans, um, professionally surveyed, electronic CAD drawings, stamped PDF of the CAD drawing, and stamped co paper copy be submitted to the district upon completion of the project. So, with that, Questions? Uh, before we have a question, do we have a motion? A uh, motion to approve based on the conditions set forth by the superintendent, striking condition number three. Second. Okay, now Ms. Strauss, your All question. Right. So my, my question was going to be, um, it says proposed infrastructure in the right of way becomes district property. The E1 pumps themselves look like they're just barely out of that, and the E1 pumps are not going to become district property, right? They will yep. stay, is that correct? The E1 property pumps the will be private property, and the little dot that you think is the E1 pump is actually the shutoff uh, okay. and okay. checkoff, and that is right. also private property. Okay, so they will stay part of the association. Uh, the homeowner. These are individual single family homes. <coughs> I do not believe this is an association. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we need an association, or are we taking ownership of the force main? We would be taking ownership of the force main. It's okay. in the public right away. All right. Which That's is in, it, which is in line with our current policy. Any other questions? Yeah, our current low pressure sewer policy, do we require the homeowner to have a maintenance agreement for those? No, we do not. Okay. That's the benefit of sometimes having it with you as an association. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. I did have a question. I saw that Goral Palmer did a very uh, thorough flow analysis mm -hmm. for downstream sanitary sewer. Technology Way and the Enterprise Business Park. However, I'm curious about Pump Station 5, which takes all this flow. Do the pumps there have enough horsepower to physically move all this new water? Yeah. Is there enough capacity there? There's plenty. Right now, there's uh, sufficient capacity there. Uh, that is a. Um, Will it Yeah, and, and, and I don't. Uh, that is a three pump pump station. Okay. It is also a dual barrel force main pump station. Uh, the intent of the design was when it first went online, one pump, what, the, the smaller force main was to be used for the 
to keep the velocities up as the flows went up, the larger force main would be used, and then additional capacity would be available if both force mains would ever need needed. So there's there's a lot of capacity there. Good. Good. That answers my question. Thank you. Any more? All in favor? Not opposed. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, moving on. Oh, I, there were a couple things. It would have been easier to re, uh, read these plans if there were street names on there, just to orient where we are. That's all. That's all. Hard time trying to find that. There is a key. That's why these dashes are. Yes. Species. Yes, I, I did find that. Um, so that one is completed. Now, 10 Southgate. 10 Southgate. On behalf of Abbott Inc., Walsh Engineering Associates has requested Scarborough Sanitary District Board of Trustees approval of a proposed 23,610 square foot addition as outlined within the estimate documents. Abbott utilizes the building for offices, warehouse, and the production of rapid point of care medical diagnostic kits. The proposed addition will be used for all three purposes. The building is currently approved for 55,250 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste, no process waste. I recommend approval with the following conditions. Wastewater flow limited to the 5,250 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste with no process waste. Any flows in excess of the approved amounts or characteristics are subject to additional approvals. No capacity reserve fees are due at this time. Any flows in excess of the approved amounts are subject to the additional approvals and capacity reserve fees. Provide waste characterization of the sanitary waste, including BOD, COD, TSS, ammonia, oil, and grease. PH and their Triton X100, which is their cleaning agent that they use mm. for cleaning the, any of their equipment. Um, sampling, uh, uh, quarterly composite samples of the wastewater will be required and tested for the BOD, COD, TSS, ammonia, PH, or grace, and uh, Triton X100. Um, and the data would be provided to the district on a quarterly basis, and the superintendent would have the right to modify the sampling program as needed to ensure representable data is obtained. Final plan shall be submitted to the superintendent for approval prior to the issuance of the permit. The sewer permit is required uh, for this project, um, and then finally the record plans and CAD drawings uh, be provided to the district as noted. Okay. We'll entertain a motion. Yeah, make a motion we approve with the conditions set forth by the superintendent. Second. Thank you. Any questions about the project? And none. In that case, all in favor? None opposed. Okay. Budget summary. Uh, the eight-month budget summary is included in your packet. I recommend approval. Uh, I do want to note that the percent spent are off because of the continued issued with the CMP electrical not being built. Move approval. So moved. Second by Ms. Cavallaro. Any questions, comments? All in favor? Not opposed. Public comments, since we have no public left, I'll go to trustee comments. Judith. No comment this evening. Jason? No comments from me either this evening. Aubrey. I just want to say I'm glad Dave hasn't stolen my phone yet at this meeting. But there's a couple minutes left. So, um, no, I just want to thank the crew for all the good work, especially getting prepared for this uh, force main relocation. and. Uh, even though it's you know, Saturday night and traffic should be light, it's still a lot to pay attention to, and there's little things that can go wrong. So kudos to all the work you put into it and the quick tap, the quick connection and, and live tap. So. It's, it's been a lot of um, yeah. 
planning and uh, good planning on all parts, um, the, you know, the town and Shaw Brothers and uh, um, the town's inspector um, and, and us. I mean, we really uh, all worked together, met multiple times and gone over the plan and modified the plan. And so it's, it's, I, I'm fairly confident, I'm confident that it's going to go well, as you, but as you know, it's Making the best of a, a tough situation. I guess. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. cool. Look forward to seeing how it goes. I will report. I'll bring you later. coffee. I'll bring you coffee. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I do wish you well and good luck on Saturday evening. Uh, I'm sure it will go smoothly. Um, and that's all I have, except asking for another motion. Make a motion, we adjourn. Second. All in favor? We are done.